In this work, we investigate the problem of regressing the angular velocity of an event camera with a spiking neural network abbreviated with SNN. Unlike conventional processing methods, SNNs can process events asynchronously and can run at very low power on neuromorphic hardware. Before we start, let us recapitulate the working principle of an event camera. This visualization shows the output of a standard camera and that of an event camera, called DVS, when they both look at the black dot on a rotating disk. As we can observe, for the event camera, the events form a spiral in space and time. When the disk stops rotating, no events are generated at all. On the other hand, the standard camera continues to wastefully send full images. Increasing the rotating speed of the disk, the images of the standard camera suffer from motion blur, while the spiral of the event camera is still clearly visible. This is due to the very high temporal resolution of the event camera, which is in the order of microseconds. When we keep the event camera steady, only motion in the scene generates events. Instead, moving the event camera reveals the gradients in the scene. Analogous to the previous comparison, an SNN can be thought of as the event-based counterpart of an artificial neural network, abbreviated with ANN. An SNN processes information with binary spikes asynchronously at high temporal resolution. Therefore, an SNN can directly consume the output of an event camera and inherits their benefits. The neuron of a deterministic spiking neural network is a dynamical system that operates with a potential U and a neuron threshold theta. An incoming spike to the neuron can decrease or increase the potential according to the synaptic weight of the connection. Incoming spikes in rapid succession superimpose their effect on the potential until a threshold is reached. At that point in time, an output spike is generated and the refractive response ensures that no more spikes occur for a short period of time. This animation shows a multi-layer perceptron of spiking neurons. Input spikes from the left are asynchronously processed by the first layer of spiking neurons. They themselves send out spikes to the next layer whenever their thresholds are reached. Notice how, unlike ANNs, spiking neurons exchange information asynchronously and parallel in space and time. This means that all layers simultaneously process information without incurring latency. Similar to artificial neural networks, SNNs are parameterized by the weights that connect the neurons. To learn the parameters of the SNN, we need to formalize the problem first. Event-based angular velocity regression is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence problem. The input sequence are events from an event camera at the resolution of 240 by 180 pixels, while the output sequence is a continuous signal in R3. We additionally impose a causality constraint that is only present and past input is known. We take a data-centric approach and generate a large-scale synthetic dataset with accurate ground truth. The event camera is randomly rotated within thousands of different panoramic scenes. The resulting one and a half hours of event data is later used to train a convolutional spiking neural network. This is done by feeding the SNN with short sequences of 100 milliseconds of events, as visualized on the left. We formulate a loss that is applied after 50 milliseconds to punish deviations of the inferred angular velocity from the ground truth. This can be seen in the plot on the right. Tilt, pan and roll are predicted simultaneously, but are only close to the ground truth after 50 milliseconds. This plot shows the median relative error of the SNN and three competing artificial neural networks. Note that the SNN continuously predicts, while the NNs predict in a discrete fashion every 20 milliseconds. The six-layer SNN in blue achieves competitive performance with respect to similar six-layer ANN using a voxel-based input. To assess the importance of deeper networks, we also train a 50-layer ResNet ANN from scratch. Its performance is visualized in red. Indeed, it significantly outperforms all other methods and indicates that deeper networks still improve results. Due to computational constraints, the same experiments could not be performed with the SNN. 
The green curve shows the performance of an input representation that ignores the temporal aspect of events. It is evident that performance degrades significantly, which indicates that the accurate timestamps of events are crucial to solve this task. We conclude that SNS or competitive effanence on angular velocity regression from events and that deeper SNS are also likely to perform better. However, this is challenging to achieve on conventional hardware. Furthermore, the accurate timings of events prove to be crucial for best performance. Event cameras and SNNs are a natural fit. This is because SNNs natively support event-based data by design, and training and design of SNNs is active research and likely to improve in the future. SNNs show potential for efficient, low-latency, vision-based inference, which is essential for robotics. Code of this project is available online on GitHub.